Whee! It is bedtime. Whee! But George isn't sleeping. So neither are Pepper or Daddy Pig. What now? We've already read every bedtime story. There is one book we haven't read. I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep? Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Once upon a time, there was a hero named... Super Pepper! <laughs> um, yes, Super Pepper. Whee! She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. Uh -oh. <laughs> Until... One day, she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping <laughs> giant. Dinosaur. Oh, yes, George, the jumping dinosaur. Super Pepper tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Like asking him very politely? Yes. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Mr. Dinosaur, sir. Excuse me. They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. <sighs> so relaxing. But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. She tried giving him cozy pajamas. She even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five. That's everything we did. There's nothing left to try. <sighs> The bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Pepper. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish the story? Pretty cool, eh, Pepper? <laughs> We're getting shoes for George, not you. Oh, yes. Today, George is <laughs> buying some new shoes. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We need some new shoes for George. <laughs> George's shoes are very old. Well, you're in luck. The shoe shop has lots <gasps> of shoes. We'll find George the perfect pair. Hooray! First, we need to measure your feet. Pop your foot in the measurer, please. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is measuring George's feet to help him find shoes that are the right size. Your feet are very small. That's because George is a baby. <laughs> no. George is not a baby. Follow me. <laughs> oh. We keep all our very small shoes over here. Which shoes do you like? George? Shoes! Those are bowling shoes. George loves to go bowling. And he loves bowling shoes. Are you sure you want those shoes, George? <laughs> shoes! Shoes! Those are tap dancing shoes. George loves to make lots of noise. Maybe too noisy. <laughs> shoes! They are clown shoes. Uh -huh. George oh. loves clown oh. shoes. Whoa. <laughs> They're too big. And George...
world is very small. Oh, uh, shoes! Shoes! George tries on lots of shoes. <laughs> Tall ones. Little ones. Yay! And even silly ones. But none of them are quite right. Shoes! Dinosaur! <laughs> They are slippers, George. They are not shoes. <laughs> shoes! These are just like your old <gasps> shoes. Shoes! George would like <gasps> new shoes that are just like <laughs> his old shoes. Jolly good. We'll take them, please, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit? Phew! I'm under here! Oh. Shoes! George loves his new shoes and he loves the shoe shop. Everyone loves the shoe shop. Hmm. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Come on, Edmund, you can do it. It's really fun. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, well done, Edmund. <gasps> this room has a balance beam. You have to walk across it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George... Pepper and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Pepper is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. Whee! <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea! Whee! Hooray! We did it! Thank you, Emily! Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> this is the final Whoa. room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. Edmund? And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. Today, Peppa and her family have come to London to watch Super Potato, the musical. Goodness! We'd better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh no! We're going to get all wet. Not to worry. We can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. <laughs> and there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. It looks like spaghetti. <laughs> So, we are here, and we need to get here. We can take the blue train first, and then... Take the red train. 
Yes! Well done, Pepper. Off we go! First, Pepper must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Pepper. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Pepper. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> The train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Pepper. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. The red train? That's us. Watch your step, George. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. The show starts in a few minutes. We might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! <laughs> Big celebrity coming through! Make way for the star, thank you! <laughs> no autographs today! Super Potato is in a hurry, too. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. Pepper and her family are watching a film at the cinema. Mummy, I need to go to the toilet. Okay, Peppa, we'll go to the one just outside. We're just going to the toilet. The toilet? Good idea. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh dear, the toilet is closed for cleaning. But I really need to go. There's a public toilet just down the road. Follow me, everyone. Tiny show. Peppa and her family have found a ah. toilet. Here's the toilet, Peppa. Let's join the queue. Mm. I'm afraid the queue starts over there. <gasps> but the queue for the toilet is very, very long. Sure, I can wait that long. Hmm. There's a toilet in the supermarket. Let's try there. Pepper, Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig, and George look everywhere for a toilet. They try the supermarket. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! Oh! They try the zoo. Ah! Sorry, Peppa. This toilet needs fixing. Oh! They even try a toilet shop. Ooh, uh -huh. I'm sorry, but these toilets are for display purposes only. There are no toilets anywhere. <laughs> Oh dear, now I need the toilet too. So do I. <laughs> Look, the cinema toilet is open again. Hooray! <laughs> For you. Finally, Peppa and her family are back to watch the film.
But now, the film has ended. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to watch it from the start. Does anyone need the toilet first? Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the arcade. You got a high score. That's because Peppa and I are experts at all of these games. Look at all these tokens, Peppa. If you collect lots of these, you can trade them in for a huge prize. Wow, a prize? Squeak! Look at all these tokens. <laughs> can we play that game next? Of course, Peppa. Mummy Pig is showing Peppa how to play Carrot Bop. She is bopping the carrots whenever they pop up. Bop! 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 <laughs> Would you both like to have a go? Yes, please! Bop! 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 Daddy? Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Pig is playing the dancing game. Daddy Pig loves dancing. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert at dancing, you know. Your turn, Peppa. <laughs> I know just the game. <laughs> Peppa and her family are playing a balloon game. Whoever fills their balloon with water first wins. Did we get another high score? Yes, your score was so high that you have all won the jackpot. Now you can trade in all your tokens for a huge prize. Let's go! Hello again, Peppa. Here are all our tokens. Can we please have our prize? Of course. With this many tokens, you can get a marvellous, extraordinary, one-of-a-kind pencil. Hooray! A pencil! Peppa loves winning lots of tokens with her family at the arcade. And Peppa really loves her brand new pencil. Squish! Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course. You can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. <laughs> My hands are tired. That's OK, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh. The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Oh, can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? Yes. Everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> it's just like jumping in muddy puddles. Well done, everyone. Now follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. <laughs> and how about this one? It's green. So... Apple! <laughs> Spot! 
spot on, Susie. And this one? It's mm. lots of colours. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well done, Peppa. You've created a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice. <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice tastes scrum diddly umptious. But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting <laughs> juice. Ah, yum! This is orange uh -huh. juice. Mmm, <laughs> this is apple juice. Ah. Ah. This tastes like all the juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Peppa loves learning about juice, and Peppa really loves her delicious rainbow juice. Hooray! Today, Peppa's playgroup are on a trip to the lake. They are going to row boats. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, everyone. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. Are you ready to row boats today? Oh, yes. The rowing boats are just over there. Let's go! Hooray! <laughs> Everyone is wearing life jackets and helmets to keep them safe on the boats. You all look ready to get going. Yes! <laughs> Pepper, Susie and Pedro, you'll be in the red rowing boat with me and Grumpy Rabbit. And Mandy, Emily and Danny will be in the blue rowing boat with me and Captain Dog. Quick! To row the boat, you have to put this special stick called an oar in the water and pull like this. Heave! ho! Now you try. Everyone is very excited to row the boats themselves. But no one is working together. Why isn't the boat moving, Miss Captain Rabbit? Everyone needs to row together all at once, like this. When I say heave, we push. And when I say ho, we pull. <laughs> Let's all try together. Heave, ho! Well done! Hooray! The boat is moving along the water. Everyone is working together as a team. Heave, ho! Everyone is having lots of fun rowing their boats, but it is almost time to go home. Time to row back to shore now, children. Your parents have come to collect you. Squeak, can we race to the shore? A wonderful idea, Mandy. Is everyone ready? Ready! On your marks, get set, go! Everyone is rowing as fast as they can back to the shore. Peppa is helping her friends row as a team. Weave, hug. <laughs> Weave, glow. Um, believe, go. Almost there. It's neck and neck. It's a draw. Well done, children. Hooray! Everyone loves rowing boats and everyone loves working as a team. It is dinner time, but dinner has been burned. Oh dear, do you think we can still eat it? <laughs> I think we should treat ourselves to a takeaway. Hooray! We choose what kind of food we like and it gets delivered to our house. There's Chinese takeaway, Indian takeaway or sushi. Can we have this one please? 
Pepper wants to order Chinese takeaway. Let's have this and this. And don't forget the special surprise. Ah. Pepper and her family have ordered lots of delicious food. <laughs> what happens now? Well, first the restaurant has to cook the food and then they'll deliver it. Oh, but how do they know where we live? I gave them our address when we ordered the takeaway. But how will it get here? Miss Rabbit will bring it on her bike. Oh, look! She's nearly here. Let's go and find Yay! her. <laughs> huh? Pepper and George have gone mm. to the wrong door. Oh! oh. It's here! It's here. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your takeaway, Pepper. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Got to dash. Lots of food to deliver. <laughs> Rice, noodles, vegetable rolls. And a special Ooh. surprise for afterwards. Yay! Pepper and George don't know what the special <laughs> surprise is. Mmm, I love rice. Mmm. Mm. And I love my spicy noodles. They're my favourite. Ooh, they might be my favourite too. Can I try some? Yes, but just try a tiny bit. Mmm, I love noodles. Oh, but they are a bit spicy. Spicy ow, noodles ow, ow, ow. are not <laughs> Pepper's favourite. Here, try a vegetable spring roll. <laughs> Mmm, vegetable spring rolls are my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family have finished their Chinese takeaway. Are you ready for the special surprise? Hooray! These are called fortune cookies. They have a special message inside that brings you good luck. Ooh. This good luck tastes amazing. Peppa loves Chinese takeaway. <laughs> Everyone loves Chinese takeaway. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are at the museum. Look, George, this dinosaur has a sister, and a mummy, and a daddy. It's a whole family of dinosaurs. <laughs> Peppa loves the museum, but it is now closed. Thanks for coming. See you soon. But I don't want to leave. We don't have to leave, Peppa. Tonight, we are having a sleepover at the museum. Ooh, hooray! Oh. Oh. What shall we do first on our sleepover? Hmm. Let's have a midnight feast. Yum, yum. Dig in, everyone. Huh? Oh, this orange is rather hard. Oh. All the food in the midnight feast is made of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> what shall we do next, Pepper? Huh? Pepper? Mummy Pig can't see where Pepper has gone. Here I am. <laughs> I am a Viking. <laughs> <laughs> and I am a Viking. Grrr. Viking. <laughs> <laughs> and I am a Viking. Uh, I mean a woolly mammoth. <laughs> Everyone is having lots of fun running away from the woolly mammoth. But all this chasing has made everyone quite tired. Oh, I think it's time for bed. Let's find a nice spot to go to sleep. <laughs> Good night, everyone. It is now morning and lots of visitors have come to the museum. Moo! What a great mammoth! 
It looks so lifelike. Everyone thinks Peppa and her family are part of the museum. Uh, huh? What's going on? Oh. Oh. That's not a Viking. That's Peppa. Oh dear. It looks like we didn't just sleep over at the museum, but we overslept. <laughs> <laughs>